Okay, in this video, we're gonna solve this problem right here, and so let's begin. So I'm gonna solve this problem using tabular method, and I classify this as type two, and we'll see why shortly. So I'm gonna draw my table first, and in my derivative column, I'm putting in the whole thing. So I have ln parentheses x, close it, close it, close it, squared. This form and this form is equivalent. This alternates between positive and negative, and in my integral column, I'm putting in one and the integral of one is x. Now the derivative of this piece will bring the two to the front, and so we get two ln parentheses x, but then we take the derivative of the inside piece, and the derivative of ln x is one over x. And so we can say divide by x. Obviously if I continue taking the derivative, this is never going to stop. However, I see something special. If I take this piece and I multiply it by x, the x's will cancel, and I get ln x. And I know I can solve ln x using tabular method. I've done that in the past. So I know it, I can do it. So let me show what I'm going to do. And that's why I call this type 2. I take this piece, multiply by positive, times x. That's normal. Then I take this piece, I times it by negative 1, then I'll times it by x, but I do something special because I'm doing that. And I'll show what I have to do. So this piece times positive x. So I'm going to get x times parentheses ln parentheses x close it close it squared now because this piece I went straight through you have to do something different so I'm gonna say plus the integral I take this piece times by negative 1 times by x but I have to take the integral of it and so 2 ln x times negative 1 is negative 2 ln x so let's change this to a minus sign and x times x you know they cancel out and so I'm going to get 2 ln parentheses x dx. Next, I can move this 2 over to the front. No need to rewrite. Let me just erase and put the 2 to the front. At this point, I'm going to use a tabular method on this part right here. So we're going to do another table. And so here I'm putting in ln parentheses x. Here I'm going to put my 1. And this alternates positive, negative, positive, negative. So positive, negative. The derivative of ln x is 1 divided by x and the integral of 1 would give us x. And so now we're going to do the same thing. Take this piece times this, take this piece, do this piece, but this is special. But the reason why we can do this now, and it won't cause this issue, x times 1 over x is just 1. So we'll have the integral of 1. Now let's write it out. So this piece remains the same, so x times parentheses ln parentheses x, close it, close it, squared, minus 2 parentheses, we have ln x times 1 times x, so we have x times ln parentheses x, close it. Then I have the integral, this piece times negative 1, so negative, and this piece times x is 1, so 1 dx, close it. Now we're going to need more room, and so I'm going to rewrite, but I'm going to solve for the integral of 1, which is very easy. So we have x times parentheses ln parentheses x, close it, close it, squared, minus 2, parentheses, x times ln, parentheses, x, close it, minus the integral of 1 is just x, close it, plus c. Now let's expand, so negative 2 times this piece and this piece, so we have x times parentheses, ln, parentheses, x, close it, close it, squared, minus 2x, ln, parentheses, x, close it, negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x, plus c. Now each piece has an x so we can factor it out. So we have x parentheses ln squared parentheses x. Again this form this form is equivalent but in our original problem it was written in this form minus 2 ln parentheses x close it plus 2 close it plus c. And this right here is our final answer and that's all we need to do for this problem.